hi welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do something a little fun um, I haven't done this in a few months because I had a little like hiatus and I've been updating on all my like project pans and stuff so today I wanted to film something kind of fun and I wanted to just play with my collection for a day. I kind of give myself some leeway to do whatever I want so I don't have to like consistently work on just my project pan items. So that is why I'm barefaced today. Um, I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow collection bingo. Um, and I before I would put all of the shades into one cup and just pick five. But since I've had to separate those from for, uh, from mattes to shimmers and glitters uh, for my 50 pan project pan for eyeshadows, I, <laughs> my brain's like real foggy this morning. <laughs> Not enough coffee. But um, yeah, so I've split them up for between mattes and then shimmers and glitters. So, what I'm gonna do is since, oh my gosh, oh also, excuse my hair, it's early in the morning. I have somewhere to be later, but I don't feel like fixing my hair just yet, so. <laughs> Sorry. Since I have split them already, I'm going to pick three mats, so, so three numbers from the mat jar and two numbers from the shimmer jar and then try to come up with a look that uh, incorporates all five. I can use, I have to use all five, um, but I can also add in other colors, other shades if need be. So y'all know how this goes. If you've seen this episode or seen these um, episodes from me before, I guess, if you've seen this challenge, um, I think it's really fun. Some people do like regular palette bingos, but Mine are kind of monotone and boring, so anyway, without further ado, let's pick our shades. Oh, I forgot to mention also that normally I do my eyeshadow last. I don't do it and then put my face on, but today I don't really know what kind of face I want to do with this eyeshadow look, so I'm just going to wait and decide after I have my colors what I want to do first, so yeah, let's get into it. So I have my matte <laughs> teacup <laughs> and I have my shimmer jar they both have numbers in them um and i'll do it right here on the screen i use my phone to record my videos so i can't use like the pretty random app like i normally would so anyway let's go ahead and pick our mats all right there's two numbers there's three numbers okay so i got the number 75 i got the number 91 and I got the number 66 okay let's go ahead and see what these shades are Lord help me uh, so I got two shades from my modern Renaissance palette um, I got the shades Bon Fresco and warm taupe and then I also got Colourpop single shadow and hop on so uh, yeah those are my mats <laughs> What I'm gonna do at this point this is weird okay well let's see what happens with the shimmers so oh cool I got number one and I got 57 so I can tell you right now that number one is Almost knock that over is color pops um so I use the glitter not glitter eyeshadows but the um, liquid shadows as well um from the valley oh this will be interesting so I got this one and then 57 is Oh gosh, for my Huda palette. And this one. 
Y'all, this is gonna be a weird looking look. I never thought to put these shades together, but honestly, now that I'm like looking at them, um, I think I can manage this. This isn't bad. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked. Okay, so let me go off camera real quick and kind of figure out what the hell I'm doing <laughs> with this palette. And then um, I'll come back on and uh, let you know my game plan. So yeah. Okay, so don't mind my hair. Um, I have a rough plan on what I wanna do with these shades. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why? Why? It's just makeup, but it'll wash off. So yeah, here's my palette again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off my hand so I can use it. I use my hand for foundation and things. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first since these shades are a little bit more darker and I don't want all that fallout and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lids with MAC Ochre's, or MAC Ochre, MAC uh, Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Um, this is in one of my project pans to get rid of. Okay, eyes are primed. Now um, I like to set just my brow bone so the shades kind of blend up um a little bit better with the uh, l'oreal infallible shade in endless pearl it's just like a white cream shade i'm so nervous right now <laughs> <gasps> okay so I guess I'm gonna start with Anastasia Beverly Hills in Bon Fresco I don't know how these shades are gonna mesh together but we'll see I'm just taking this shade and just kind of fluffing it into my crease weird it like translate into like a purpley gray I mean it's a cool tone like light pink but on my eyelids it just looks like a purpley gray okay well it's because it's gonna get um, and then I think I'll also just add that warm taupe shade right here um, into my crease as well A really good idea I just changed my mind okay so what I'm gonna do is kind of leave this be and then I'm gonna add my NYX glitter primer and add for my Huda Beauty mauve obsessions palette because I got this shade right here I'm gonna put these two down um, and then come back and show you what else I'm doing So the audio in this clip was bugging me so much. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and do a voiceover, but essentially what I'm doing right now is just blending out the shimmer um, to make sure that it looks nice and has an even blend. So in this clip, I am doing a spotlight eye with that From the Valley shade from ColourPop, the Supernova shadow. Um, yeah, I was explaining it in a previous clip, but my um, tripod was loose, I guess, and it was making a weird clicking sound that was bugging me. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Annoying audio again. So essentially, I am just blending out the crease uh, after I put down the shimmer just to make sure that everything, again, has a nice even blend. Um, yeah. 
Now I'm just adding Real Gar from Modern Renaissance in my crease. So sorry for the audio. I'm so mad. It, it, yeah, it won't happen again. Didn't do much, but these are the eyes for now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my face makeup. Come back on and tell you what I'm wearing. And then I'll finish the um, lower lash line. So, uh, we have a little ham on my eyebrows. It's fine, it's all fine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and thin off, finish off this eye. Um, I'm gonna take the hop on shade and run that on my lower lash line and kind of see how that goes. Um, super nervous, so yeah, hop on. Mm, I don't like this brush. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this like pointed fluffy brush. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and just blending the bottom lash line out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. All right, and then I'm going to take the taupe, warm taupe and the Bon Fresco shade like really close to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the From the Valley shade and pop that on like the very center of my lash line. And then after that, I'm going to take the shade, the L'Oreal Infallible shade in Ice Latte um, and pop that on my inner corner. Okay, so that is the finished eye look. Um, I am going to go off camera real quick and finish the rest of my eyes. Uh, mascara and all that and then I'll come back and show you the final product okay so this is the final look Um, I am super happy with how it turned out. It's a lot different from what I'm normally used to. I don't play around a lot with cool tone shades because sometimes I just feel like it's too much for me. So this was kind of nice to kind of get out of my comfort zone. Um, and that's why I love these challenges because I get to play around with shades that I don't normally like think would go together and then also like I play with tones that normally I wouldn't, you know, get to play around with. So yeah, um, I popped on my CoverGirl, um, the Super Sizer, um, as my mascara. And then on the, you can't really tell because my eyes are really small, but I put some of this nude Chella stick on my lower lash line. And then I popped on my Rimmel brown liner on the top waterline. Um, I lined my lips with my NYX Nectar pencil. And then I topped my Nude Embrace lipstick and popped over the Tiramisu NYX Butter Gloss. So, yeah, this is the final look. Um, I'm wearing my e.l.f. bronzer. And then I kind of mixed some shades. I had my Franken... Uh, blush that I kind of mixed together and then I popped on some uh, Kylie blush and barely legal and then I'm wearing my highlight on in my project pan the pop beauty one so yeah 
this is the final look. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this today because I have an outdoor fun family event at my husband's work um, and I'm gonna be meeting a bunch of people. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear this like super vampy look uh, in my opinion, but we'll see. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me down below, down, let me know, ugh. Let me know down below um, what you'd like to see next aside from my project pans because um, I'm always going to do that because it's so fun. Um, but yeah, and also let me know if you do um, palette bingos or eyeshadow collection bingos because those are also like one of my favorite videos to watch. So yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Um, but until then, bye.